The Vulcan volcano is in the background, as you can see. There's no more volcanic activity here. It's been quiet for the past several weeks. And where I'm standing was, or what used to be, the Tavana village. There's nothing much to see here of the Tavana village. The destruction from the Vulcan has destroyed everything. It's just a state of desolation. And here where I'm standing, somebody has been here and planted a few flowers. Someone told us this here, right here, used to be the church building at Tavana. It could be something else, given all this destruction, very hard to tell. Not far from Tavana, over the rise, was the village of Valor, where somewhere beneath the new layer of volcanic ash lie the grave of the former chairman of the East New Britain Provincial Disaster Committee when it was formed in 1983, the late Nason Polius. The people of Valau, Tavana, and tens of thousands of others are now in the care centers at the various locations around the Gazelle Peninsula. Since the army moved in to help the police enforce the orders under their abound state of emergency, people have acknowledged the improvements in the service, in the care centers, and the delivery of supplies. The supply depot at the back of the war museum at Ralum is the site of orderly maneuvers. The army has played a key role in ensuring that the care centers get their fair share of supplies and the police keeping peace and order. On his recent visit there, the controller of the Rabaul State of Emergency, General Rokos Lokenap, gave this brief. At this stage, we've gone past the evacuation phase. We're now looking after the people in care centers. I, uh, I believe we are now back to normal. The uh, public service machinery in East New Britain is uh, well and truly in operation. They've got a, a temporary headquarters up at Gunadidir. At this time, the provincial government should be brought back into play. They should be exercising their, their duties as elected representative of the people and get on with the job of running the, uh, the lives of the people. I personally uh, would recommend, recommend a um, a, the lifting of the uh, the uh, state of emergency, but it is not for me to decide. I think it's our, our the national government to to decide on that. Just very quickly now, the welfare of people at the Kensia are you generally satisfied about uh, the running of the care centres and people there? Well, I'm generally pleased with it. I think the people are being fed properly. I've yet to see a hungry person in in the care centres. Uh, we are now going through improving the. Um, the, uh, some other little facilities in the care centers, like the water points, the drainage system in, the, uh, in those water points, the shower facilities for both the male and female population in the care centers. I'm talking about mainly the areas in, uh, in urban care centers. So look at the Kokopo High School, the uh, Kokopo uh, Showground care centers. But I'm generally pleased with the care centers outside of the, the, the major two ones here in, uh, the, in Kokopo. After accompanying the general on a tour of the Kokopo Showground Care Center, the field commander, Colonel Lima Dotana, decided on some adjustments. That's correct, the distribution of food has now been stabilized, and uh, we need now to have a look at the care centers, re-site, if necessary, some of the houses. At this moment, as you can see here, it's too crowded and there's a high risk of fire. If there's a fire, in one of the tents will just very quickly spread bit of wind. You should know the uh, coconut leaves and the uh, tarpaulin plants very, very quickly. The Colonel and the General and members of the East New Britain Disaster Committee met with the Prime Minister and briefed him on developments on the ground. The Prime Minister had gone there on his fourth on-the-spot visit. To me, as I see it, it's an experience in Bougainville. It's man-made. 
Rabaul and Southern Highlands, they're n nature. Out of all these, it's a very good cleansing exercise for all the people of this country. We have to learn to manage our own business, manage the finance of the country. We become a much more responsible society after all this cleansing. Bougainville will breed peace. Here will be to build tolerance. Uh, for looking after the finance of the country will breed responsibility. A combination of all these ingredients will make a better Papua New Guinea, better people. There are now 24 main care centers and several sub care centers in the Gazelle Peninsula, catering for over 70,000 people. At all the care centers, everybody from adult right down to the children, even babies, have to make the best of their own situation. They are living it tough and depend on everything for their survival. Most of the tents and tarpaulins have been donated. The people get rations of rice and tin fish every day. That is supplemented by donations of fresh food and vegetables. Firewood is also brought into the care centers. Families help themselves to the wood and prepare their own meals. Open fires are a common sight. Many suffer the misfortune of losing all their belongings in the volcanic disasters. Life in the care centers are even more foreign to them. One cannot appreciate the psychological torment these people suffer until they visit the care centers and spend time to talk to the people. People are something, suppose me play one one, uh, mama, papa, me play ting ting, go back long. Play, some time me play cry. Long kind life, uh, long, long hair. Gamaliel Pidi comes from the Duke of York Islands off the coast of Kokopo in East New Britain. He and his family, his wife is from Tubusera village in the central province, have been living at the Kokopo Showground Care Center from day one. We found Pidik and his wife outside their tent with other neighbors, under the hut they use for Sunday worship and other meetings. When you in life, now you play in long, long old care center. Suppose he had no height on someone. Oh, life long inside long old care center, especially long me play long desala hut, long kokopo uh, showground where me play stuff. He, he had one because. Uh, uh, people, Mipula, is that long, not a place. Now, now, so long, Mipula, um, all cut is that all, canvas. Na, uh, suppose rainy come up, suppose, suppose rainy come up, and me play, me play, and send up that all. Me play, allow him all picking it that all, but he sleep one time, mama. Uh, too long and uh, big blessing, big blessing, he come up. Na, he had to my inside, inside long canvas, he had. Now he had long staff, long house, so me please he sit down and about the solar sam. He go on Nambis, by in place, was was, by in place in Malur, he place that. Uh, he had long kai kai, same kai kai, uh, nearly most of the time, uh, tin piece, rice, 